Okay, we're here at Swipe in Fremont today. And what are we seeing here, Aaron? Well, I'm Aaron Chidi, the COO of Swipe, and uh, I'm about to show you the way that uh, you're going to be typing in the future on touchscreen devices. Very cool. Let's uh, take a let's take a quick look. All right. So this is Swipe. The next generation. Input, or so we hope. Right, so. and it's a little tough to see on the screen there, but you could actually even get the uh, get the question mark there, and That's it looks right. like everything came in uh, properly. That's right. So we'll show you a few of the gestures. So you'll notice that um, capital letters are generated um, by just a normal press on the shift key, and then dragging your finger across, or I can go above the keyboard, and that's also the shift gesture, which mm -hmm. lets me do. Um, you know, more complicated words with two, two uh, capitalized letters in them, or I can go above, do a little loop, and that sets it to capitalization of everything, so I can do all caps. Um, it's a normal tap keyboard. So let me just, so this is, let me just get that back there. This is, and we can see why tapping is not as efficient. But then, of course, you know, this is swipe. So, so how much faster how much is it to swipe than yeah, to so tap? Yeah, so it's user-dependent, but we see that it's anywhere from, anywhere from 10 to 30% faster, okay. depending on the user's experience. Okay. So we'll show you some of the other things you can do. Double letters. So the difference between sun and soon is just a little squiggle on the O. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that again. This is sun, and this is soon. Mm-hmm. Now, if you make a mistake, you can always bring up the word choice list and choose from the alternate words. So one of the key things when you're inputting text is we're, we're always going to make mistakes, right? So you look back and I say, oh, you know what? I meant for this word to be, to be soon rather than sun. So I can just pick from that list and then and keep going. So it allows me to recover very quickly from errors you know, at, the end of, at the end of a sentence. So that's a big part of touchscreens and frustrations of people on touchscreens is that it's, um, it's hard to recover once you've generated an error. Um, you know, we have to push, you have to locate the cursor specifically on a word and, and then edit a single character or two. With swipe, you highlight the entire word with the double tap gesture, which we're all familiar with, and then pick from the word choice list and away you go. Great, and what is this device that you're showing? So showing this the is Samsung Omnia HD. It's a Symbian S60 5th edition device launched in Europe. We have it working on Android and we have it working on Windows Mobile 6.0 6 and above. Very cool. Well, thanks for showing it to us today. Great. All Thank right. Thank you. All yep. right.